Why are you coming at my fucking desktop? That, Sonic, you are the king of cringe. The fact you even had the audacity to mention that kind of hurts. <laughs> it kind of hurts, dude. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. I appreciate you, dude. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. So I'm talking about this. So wait, where did it start? Oh, it starts. Okay. So this is all from um, the live stream, right? Because the Zeno thing, like this Zeno part here was mentioned in the live stream, right? Not live stream, the uh, Grand Blue TV channel. Here is a condensed version of our Twitter translation thread. Cora Cara, no, Grand Blue Fantasy, January 2020. Technically February 2020, right? Let me have this drink, hold up. Yeah, you call your cringe is pretty, pretty bad. As previously mentioned on Grand Blue uh, TVs, I know Vaughn. So we're getting the Earth and Water rerun in the six. Nightmare Skip is in. Um, as for Nightmare Skip, people said that you don't want a Nightmare Skip in Zenos. Is that right? Because the gold bar? Because that's, that's what people did for Ifrit, Ifrit right? Ifrit, they did, people didn't skip. I remember that what people told me. I didn't. I didn't do Zenos, so I don't remember. So why didn't people want to skip then in Nightmare? Or just doesn't matter? For Bounty? Oh. Skipping just doesn't... Just doesn't apply your drop rate boost as far as I know? Okay. So for the drop rate boost, people didn't want to skip? Got you, got you, got you. And the next pride fight will be the Great Wall Fire. It's the story boss from like, I think chapter 114. Yeah, 114. Also goes live February 6th. I made I made the uh, invoker for it. And if he's like, oh, it's a bad choice. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> I'll believe. It's going gonna, it's gonna to clear debuffs every 10%. Change my mind. That's the only way to hurt water, right? It's to like clear debuffs every ten percent. If they don't, if they don't clear debuffs a lot, water's gonna run through it with Lily. Like water, water's really gonna run through it with Lily, like quickly. Little Sky Farer, um, Charlotte's events come back in two ten. It's a rerun, so that's 30k Aqua Run points. Which is not bad. In addition to the raids, the cooking system. Uh, so the cooking system from the last event, it's coming back. You know, I think you like combine different foods together to cook Charlotte some food or some shit. I don't remember it. I kind of skipped the event. It was during the time when I was playing a Dragalia, I think. So I didn't really care. But you gotta like cook food for the cook food for her or something like that. Whatever. Oh, table six would be added to side stories. I like this event. Um I don't think we're ever getting another one because Korwa's kind of the VA's kind of gone, right? So I don't think we ever getting an update. But I like the event. Gosh, she looks so cute. Korwa's such a good character, bro. Why do you why they do her like that? Damn, bro. She's so cute, dude. My God, I love her. She's like my one of my favorite characters. She was like my top three for a long time. Just under John. <laughs> yeah, top three for a long time. Here he is. United fight changes. Oh my God, dude. This. Oh, I already been spoiled on it, so I already know what the changes are. And it's so shit. 
With no more seated crew, the preliminary reward system is changing prelims crews top one to 300 now. Get the 45 badges, one lineage ring, and a gold spell book. Um, this is the same stuff as last time. This is increased from instead of 120. My fault was that. Oops. Instead of 120, it's now 1 to 300. I don't know how much this affects everything. Um, obviously, if you are in the top 300, you want to be near the bottom rather than the top so you don't get cucked like vanilla. Um, <laughs> we're ginger. <laughs> but yeah, you want to be near the bottom, not the top, because you're going to get, you're going to run into the, uh, <laughs> you're gonna run to the tryhards. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys know me making fun of people. I can't help it. Prelims 300 to 1000 is 25 badges and the other baby rank and a silver spell book. Was this always here? This is new, right? 300 to 1000 is new, right? Um, You don't get any more badges, but you get some crap ring and a crap spell bug. So this is what we call bait, right? This is for people who thought they would try hard, but they aren't. So they get like screwed over and then they get really bad matches because they tried really hard during prelims. And then they complain why they go two and one. I um, mean, uh, one and one and three, excuse me. So yeah, because you don't get no more badges out of it, right? If you're, if you're doing this, you better be going for this because this gets you nothing. You get a ring and a spell book. That's the only difference between this and this. And I tell you for a fact, if you in the bottom 7K, you get some good matches, dude. All right? Compared to being in like 300, where you're getting kind of like the tryhards. It's not fun. Um, anyone who's been in this situation, you know it. You know how your GW matches against you. And this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be here, dude. This is like... This is the worst place to be because not only do you get like crappy matches, you get some crappy rewards out of it too. You don't get no more badges. It's the same badges, 25, both for 25. To me, it's like not only did they make my character a meteor. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> um, does the premium ranking determine all the matches for United Fight? No, it doesn't determine all of them, but it does matter. It's your crew placement that kind of determines your matches. Like, my crew placement was really low this GW, so I didn't have really hard matches. But the higher your crew, your crew placement is overall, the harder your match is going to be. Now, you can get lucky, get a crew that doesn't have meat, that just had a hard fight. But um, generally, how it works. We were around 280, 2, 240 last GW. Much lower than we usually were. Thanks to Grim. <laughs> Hi, Grim. <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> that's what it was. Um, <laughs> you guys know me. I call you out. Crews one through eight thousand will qualify for tier A, so they increased the tier A to seven to eight thousand instead of the seven thousand and where it was before. Um, tier B now begins at eight thousand and one. To 1900, I think before it was 1700, now it's 19, so that would be tier B. And the rewards for qualifying for tier C is like, I don't know, it's pretty free though. So it doesn't, it doesn't have it here. Did it keep it the same? I thought they increased it. Hmm. Okay, here the, here the fucking crappiest decision ever made. I hate whoever thought of this. Cam Mar, you're a fucking idiot. New rewards are added for players who are in tier A. 10 badges for filling all of the requirements. Lose in tier A. So not only does um, this only ex include tier A, just keep in mind, it's tier A only. You need to earn more than 3 billion points as your crew. To a lot of you, three billion seems like a lot, and it is. Um, so, earn more than ninety million honors in a day. Also, shit. That's gonna push 
majority of like the top let's say top 3k crews um top top 2k to really high levels where each fight is going to be every day is going to be like um three bill pretty much because currently if i remember correctly the top 2k for this gw was top 2k was 10 bill wait we can look here right top 2k was 10 bill let me check okay let's look here top 2k I was right on the point. Yeah. <laughs> that means that for three fights, the top 2K is going to jump up to 12 bill. Guaranteed, not including prelims, right? Prelims going to add like another bill on top of that. But at that point, we're going to be hitting the point of 13 billion in top 2K crews. Guaranteed. Um, because, you know, it's 10 Valor. You already full auto GW, right? So going the extra mile, getting 90 million. That's just how it's going to happen. So, with that, that also means individuals will be inflated to a much higher degree because people have to get 90 million honors a day. 90 times 4 is automatically what? I can't do math. 360. So, 360 is not a lot because look at this. It's already 618, 614. Um, I believe prelims. Ended at 90 million, then interlude pushed it to 150. So, keeping that in mind, I don't know how big of an increase this will be for top 50k, but I do expect it to be an increase overall thanks to this, right? I don't know what the number is going to be, but it's going to be an increase, provided pots are not a problem, right? To get this amount of honor, it's not free in terms of the pot loss and the um, BP loss, but I think it should still be a problem for maybe another two months or two GWs, which will be wind and earth. Should be. <laughs> I'll go back here. T shirt is easy. Um, it's okay, new players don't have win house. Well, I'm, I'm not really thinking about new players. Um, I don't really expect new players to get into top 50K, right? Like, it's possible they can get top 50K, but I don't expect new players to get the top 50K. Um, I said I don't expect new players to get top 50K. I didn't say they can't. I don't expect them, okay? Rather, it's in the 1%, okay? Not many new players are willing to play 17 hours of GW every day, okay? That's not normal, okay? That's in the 1% players, right? That's not something that every player will do, okay? Let's keep that in mind, right? It's perfectly normal, okay, sure. Um, these are noted to be a test run. If things need to be adjusted, they do. After February, they should. Um, as previously noted, this United fight will raise the EX um, boss to 21 million. Now, thanks to this increase in health, this can make it a little bit harder for other LEDs like Fire. And um, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, I appreciate it big time, man. Fuck. <laughs> I lost track. Uh, what would I saying? Yeah, yeah. So thanks to this increase in health for 21 million, right? You can see a overall increase in terms of the honors. My fault. A overall decrease in terms of the honors gained from EX Plus for other Ellie's like Fire, which kind of has a hard time hitting 20 mil um, without like a lot of buttons. This doesn't affect Wind because you have Siete. So for the upcoming GW, it's going to be crap um, because this really doesn't affect Siete because, you know, Siete. So, I think this is good for kind of trying to lower the honor gain, but it's like the wrong LED. Like, 
this would have been a much bigger problem if they added it to dark, I feel. Right? They added it on dark UW, it would have hurt dark a little bit more. Um, it probably would have hurt uh, fire. I don't think it's hurting earth because octo. Don't think it's hurting water because bony toe. But dark and fire are the ones where it kind of hurts them a little bit. So. Fire didn't have a problem hitting 20 million. Uh, all LEDs can hit 20 million, obviously, right? We do it every GW. But I'm saying it's not easy, right? It's not easy. Fire is barely 20 mil. With the current setup right now, it's barely 20 mil. It's not It's not 21. It's 20 mil. Right now, the current fire setup is 20 mil at 20.20k, 20, uh, 20, 20 mil and 800k, I think. Something like that. With the Esser, Tsubasa, or um, Lyra, what doesn't matter. Um, that setup is 20 mil and 8 without Michael, right? Uh, if you have Michael, you can go higher, obviously. But you can't assume every player has a prime mark, right? So, um, yeah, Siegfried does help. Yeah, Siegfried does help. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's probably, can you do 21 mil on fire without Michael? Is that possible? And two buttons. I, I don't know if um can you do that though on Magna? It's possible to 21 mil. How min-max is it though? Is it like you gotta keep in mind, right? If, if it's free, like when GW is free, right? Because CFA is like a free character. If it's free, then that's different, right? But I don't know how free it is, like where each player can do it with low investment. So, maybe 21 mil, probably won't change much. Um, so, we'll see, we'll see. It's three, see, three buttons, that's a difference. That's a difference. So, uh, we're talking two buttons, right? Can fire Magna do 21 mil, two buttons easily? That's very accessible. If that's, if that is a thing that can happen, then it won't, ch it won't change anything. But if it cannot, then it's a change, right? If you need, like, the newest characters, like Siegfried, which not many players have, right? Um, it's going to be hard. I'm not saying it can't do it, because it can do it. But I'm saying how easy is it, though? Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows? Uh, they aren't sure on how much they will expand the individual <laughs> ranking tiers for 100 badges and 75 badges. They should. Um, to be honest, let's add a new tier at this point. Let's add a new tier overall. Thank you for the follow, by the way. But I mean, the problem is like, if they add a new tier, right? It's going to start the whole problem again, right? So it's hard, right? Every TW people want to maximize their, their, their valor, right? So there's like no fix to it, honestly. There's legitimately no fix to it, unless they remove the whole ranking system. Because every GW is going to be the same situation where, like, oh, more people reach X rank, so X rank is too high to get, therefore they got to push it back. So. Sixth anniversary event, um, some clarifications were made regarding the free Eternal. You get completing the event. While you won't get the weapon... Your Eternal will come with the Golden Fragments. You used to 5-star it. This is massive. It's freaking great for a lot of players now. So I can't tell people to go after Eternals. Because you're not really cucked as hard for picking them now. Um, to be honest, it's probably better to pick up the Eternal if you don't have it. Because you save out on the... How, how much max is it to get a weapon to full limit break? Not full limit. Max limit break or the uh, max... Craft, I guess, whatever it's called. It's a lot, right? So, um, it's worth it to pick an Eternal if you don't have them. Uh, I'll recommend most people, if you don't have all the Eternals, pick up an Eternal you don't have. So, that's my opinion. You may not agree with that. You may need the Gold Brick for Opus, right? But, if you're in a situation where you don't like farming, right? You're more of a casual player. I'll recommend picking up an Eternal you don't have. That's how I feel about it. So, you do save all on Crystals as well. Um, this month we have 
uncapped, right? February uncapped, we have T-Mot, um, Poverty, Grimnir. We'll take a look at T-Mot's kit real quick. Uh, I'll make sure I'm on Ilya's account, actually. Uh, oh, this is Ilya's account, excuse me. I don't think Ken has her. Oh, shit. Okay. So we're looking at T-Mot. She is Melee, right? Wend Melee? Or she staff? I don't remember. Okay, I guess no, no, it's right. Wow, I have to get that right. Holy shit! <laughs> I am surprised I got that right. I, I, I thought I was wrong. Um, yeah, you can tell by her EMP level. <laughs> don't use her. <laughs> woo, T mod. Woo, you, you bad. So, <laughs> things that can change with her, right? Boost the triple attack rate, it's garbage, and if they give triple attack rate to the party, um, if it's guaranteed TA, maybe, to the party, that can be maybe good, but there's already a fist that kind of do that, so, her Ogi needs a massive overhaul, because <laughs> it's pretty bad, um, winds of the of blessing, medium boost to all allies attack and defense has to either become a unique buff, remove the consume, on her charge bar, and um, the charge bar again, it's okay. Keep that the same. Her win damage to all foes, crippling, crippling storm, big hit to attack. So this caps attack now, right? 25. Um, I don't even know what to do with her skill, too, at this point. You can't even change up all her skills, and they're all really bad. So. Like, her Ogi's crap, her skill one is the best skill she has, and that's pretty bad. Crippling Storm is a nuke. I don't want them to double cast it. Please don't give her a double cast nuke or something of that line. Um, Don't need it. The debuff is okay, but what they can do is probably give her L. I don't believe Wen has LD attack down. Does it? Does anybody know when has Ellie attack down? It's possible they can give her that. So that you have a Ellie attack down character for future content. No, John is defense down. Ellie attack down. What they can do is give her an Ellie attack down. I know it sounds um, weird, but I think Ellie attack down could be nice. So only a Christmas unit? Yeah. They can give her Ellie attack down on her skill too. It's very niche, but it's something that could be useful for upcoming hard content for wind now it's wind the ellie was 70k health and monkey so does it matter much no but what if we get content where they restrict our health to 20k right then it could be more viable wind cloak is a poverty grimnir skill at this point they either make it like grimnir or it's going to be completely bad so it's legitimately a poverty Grimnir. It, there's nothing you can do to make this skill good if it's not a copy of Grimnir's. Um, there's no buff. To, I mean, they're going to have to really go above and beyond to make Wind Cloak a good skill where you want to use this character over the alternative, which is Grimnir. So. She had really hard competition in her own LE, which is really unfair for her. Um. So, this is how it goes. At this point, though, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave this character two mil plane. I would, I would not be surprised because a lot of, a lot of these characters are being countered for Fa. Win doesn't need it, but Win doesn't have a two mil plane character right now. So, a way of making this character viable is they may give her two mil plane just so that she can clear the labor. That would be one way of making her viable her boost to attack specs when mirrored i think it's going to get changed and the amplified damage against earth foes it will stay the same if you remember scat she has the same ability right so oh also melee so i don't see that getting any update um but i do believe her mirror image passive will get updated and that's pretty much my thoughts on her we'll see how right i am 
But I would not be surprised if they give this character um, a plain damage nuke. And uh, maybe multi-attack down. Because off the top of my head, the only way to multi-attack down is Grim Spear. So maybe, maybe multi-attack down is possible. Then we have the uncap for the shrimp spreader, which is the weapon, which is over here. It's the weapon from Friday's event. I may full limit break it if the weapon ends up being good. I'm not doing it post um, full limit break though, but if it's good, I'll full limit break it to see what it does. Gangsta knife. Oh, the fire. What? She just came out though. They're full limit breaking her weapon already, the dagger. Um, there's only two here, so I can't full limit break an armor release. A midi and what's what is this? I don't know what the other skill is. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Percival's brother is getting a full limit break. I think I, I think this walk this count has a full limit break. Let me check. One, two. Uh uh. Uh uh. It's only a crit? Okay. There's only two here. Wait, I thought sort of the full and break. Maybe the full and break in the stash or something. I'll look later. Ancient bandages getting a full and break, which is actually a good weapon. Um what I'm hoping it to gain is health. Uh I don't know how you feel about it, Enfi, but I want health on this weapon. Because Earth doesn't have a good weapon with health on it. It'll be a uh, that's not like the 30 moon weapons, right? So if they could just throw health on it, it'd be nice for me. I mean, honestly, small majesty would be perfect. I know I can, I can believe though. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I can believe, uh, the skill of 15, that's what you think? Nah, because didn't Graham get a, like, Graham's the, the same weapon, right? Graham has the same skill. What did Graham get? I don't, I don't think there's a full memory Graham on this account. Let me check. Graham is Bea's weapon, by the way. Where Where is Graham? I, I don't, I don't recall. What did it get? They slapped crit on it? Restraint? Okay. Yeah. Double attacking crit. Uh, it's highly possible it'll get the same it'll get the same thing. I'm hoping not. Um, I mean Earth crit is okay. But I'll be more against it than for it. Small crit though, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh well. Then we also have another sky getting a full limit break, which is pretty cool. Another sky comes with uh, CA damage increase, which is pretty. It's pretty okay weapon. Um, it'll probably get cap up. If I had to guess as well, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. If it doesn't, though, maybe I don't know what it's going to get. It's not getting sentenced. That's impossible, though. Um, but cap up, it's possible. I think Excelsior or whatever. It's not about E. I don't remember the name of it, but um, it is possible to get that. Full Metal Recoil, which is Silva's weapon, the axe, right? That looked like a gun. Yeah, this one. This is attack and crit, right? And CA damage? Or this attack and health? I don't remember what this skill is. This one, two, three. I don't think there's enough for a full limit break. Let me check. Yeah, it's only three. That's really talking. One, two, three. 
Let's pull up the wiki? No, the weapons are here, dude. And then we have Bloody Scar, which is a face weapon. Which is, uh, I think it has a ton of copies of it. This one. It's too many copies. Wait, hold up! They full limit break. Did they full limit break Vampy's weapon? Huh, what? How would Vampy weapon still not full limit break? But they full limit break Vage weapon. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, this is a troll. This is a troll, right? This has to be a troll at this point. They legit full limit break Vage weapon, but they're not full limit breaking Vampy's weapon. This has to be a troll, right? It has to be, right? How is that possible? Vampy came out what? 20... When did Vampy come out? She came out hella early, right? Let me check. Hold up. Vampy came out real early, dude. Where's Vampy? Maybe she didn't come out that early. Okay. Maybe she didn't come out there. She came out 2015. What is this? Uh, mid twenty fifteen, around summertime. Twenty, it's twenty, it's twenty fifteen though, right? And her brother came out twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen. When did Vague come out? Yeah, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty sixteen. A little bit after Zoe. I don't know. How come they don't full and break Vampy's weapon, dude? What did Vampy do? And then we have two more uncaps for uh, Freyer, which unfortunately this account does not have enough Freyers dupes to uncap it. It's a feel bad. I think it's um, just two. So I need, I need one more Freyer to uncap it. So I won't be able to use my own Freyer for GW, but that's okay because I'll just use a friend. So Freyer's getting a full limit break and Demon Bream, which also needs one on cap. Man, why? This account has so many things that's one off. <laughs> Demon Bream getting the next uncap. So, uh, I'm expecting Freya to be nutso. Honestly, though, what I also expect to happen is no, this is not yours. Uh, what I also think is possible to happen is that Freya can get um, recast. I wouldn't be surprised if they go the laser route and think, oh man, Freya's so good. We just let them recast it now. If you full limit break it. As for Demon Bream, I expect Demon Bream to get some type of damage cap. Right? Maybe, I think they're going to increase the health to 30 to 40. Um, 50 is like really pushing it. But I think it's going to increase the 30 to 40. And they're going to give... Maybe the buff that Basharaga gets. Like, I would not be surprised if they give the exact copy of what Basharaga gets. Because that's, like, a really good buff. And it'll put it on the same level as Freyr. Where's Basharaga? No, it's not Ken. No. So, mm, the attack, the uh, damage cap up, and defense boost. This is this is Ilya. When you grips alone cap and you can use your friend, yeah, yeah. And then we have some quality of life upgrades, um, updates, just upgrades. The raid list will remember the difficulty you last select instead of defaulting to normal. What? Wait, the raid list will remember the difficulty you last selected. What did he mean by that? Huh? Oh, it's talking about high level and normal. Give you a link to update. Sure, no problem, dude. Got you, broski. Sure. Okay. The character map in the GBF handbook will gain an option for setting one of the 10 eternal recruitments as a goal and track your progress toward the character unlock. Further updates to the GBF handbook are still planned to make the game easier to get into. 
So now you can get an idea of how far you you are relative to making your eternal. Um, they kind of have this now for invokers too, with the update to Arcarum. So that's nice. Um, the updates to the APEP -E display on the homepage where you can tab. This is the biggest one for me. Because now I don't have to go through the hell of refilling AP while doing GW and keeping track of it. Um, so, well, you can tap them or fill them instantly. I mean, this is something that should have been in the game a long time ago, but whatever. We'll be coming to every other screen as well. Certain quests would dump you into generic quest page when you failed will bring you back to the quest page so that you can get back to it quickly. This applies to raids in the raid list, treasure quests, and the special quest menu and fate episodes. Campaigns and merchandise. There will be a GBF release logging campaign in GBF. So expect there to be either a Magnifest or a semi half magnifest thing they did before well like, they don't give like the full magnifest but they give like half a magnifest the next two weeks of grand blue tv will also start percival and feature gbf versus oh my god look at these characters bro valentine's banner the most dreaded banner in all of GBF, dude. The Valentine's banner. Because it only comes once. And it's only here for a couple days. And if you don't get them. God damn, you're going to hate yourself. <laughs> Val uh, Valentine's banner, dude. And it doesn't come with free rolls. Doesn't come with nothing. The side storage, uh, Valentine's campaign is also coming. You'll be able to order Valentine's for your favorite. Oh, I'm definitely getting this this time. I'm getting one for Nier. Nier's cute. So that's cool. Expect a guide from us on how to order, just like we had last year. Coming to prize games across February, um, across, across Japan in February. Tiny hanging feature, uh, features of Dragon Knights. Nobody care about Dragon Knights, though. And it's all a bunch of casual stuff that I don't care about. Okay. You get enough money from me. Well, you got enough money from me already, GBF. You can get no more. So. And with that, ends this segment of Grand Blue and Death February 2020. That's what I call it now. Cool. And we 